Hi, it's Steph, and welcome to my garden. This evening, my lilies were looking so beautiful, so I thought that I would record them right now at sundown, while well, it's nice and cool out, and share with you my oriental lilies, my stargazer lilies, and what's left of my blooming daylilies. My beautiful daylilies are still going. These here are called South Seas and they're a beautiful orange with a yellow center. I still have a prairie blue eyes. And here this beauty is called Enchanted April. And I just love this light apricot color with the frilly yellow edging. These South Sea Daylilies have been blooming for a couple of weeks now. And they keep putting out new blooms. Now while I really love the blooms on the daylilies, there are a couple of things that I could do without. First, they're called daylilies, so each bloom only lasts one day. But if you have a big enough clump, you know, there's never a shortage of new buds getting ready to open up. But also, the foliage can look quite ratty and unkept fairly quickly. After the blooms kind of start finishing up, they start getting all yellow and brown and just, you know, not great looking. So over the next couple of years, I will probably end up removing these and just keeping a couple of varieties. But these blooms, oh, they make it hard to make that decision because they're so beautiful. This pretty pink daylily has two shades of pink, a darker pink and a lighter pink and a yellow throat. This one is called Final Touch. My stargazer lilies are looking absolutely gorgeous. And I can smell them as I walk by it has such a wonderful smell. These daylilies here are called Royal Palace Prints.
My Addy Branch Smith is still in bloom as well. And there's a couple more buds to open up. This one is a beautiful peach one. And I don't know the variety as it was given to me. But if anyone has any guesses, I'll take those down in the comments, please. Really pretty. I also have the Salome Double Peony by Proven Winners. And there's still a couple left to open up on those. These lilies here are called Casablanca. And they're a beautiful and very large white lily. This beautiful lily that is white with salmon veining and freckles is called Salmon Star. And it might be one of my favorites. But then again, I say that about all of them. There's a couple more beautiful daylilies blooming in my patio bed. This one here in the front is called Swallowtail Kite. It's got a beautiful two-tone purple coloring with a chartreuse yellow green throat this other beauty blooming right beside it is called orchid corsage it's a light pink with a yellow and cream colored throat This daylily here is called Totally Tangerine, and it's a really beautiful peachy apricot with a ruffly edging on the petals. I have this really pretty, dainty daylily that has a smaller bloom on it, and it's this really beautiful blush color, but I don't know the name of it because this was also shared with me from another gardener. And these here are not lilies, but they are Nephophia, also known as Red Hot Poker. They weren't blooming as much in my July garden tour, so I thought that I would just include them here at the end of this video. The variety I have here is called Lady Luck. And it's a really beautiful, like limey green with some white. The Queenie Lime Zinnia have just started to bloom. These are such a beautiful variety of zinnia. And this beautiful zinnia is called Queen Lime with Blotch. And it's also a really beautiful variety. And it complements the Queenie Lime Red so nicely. 
Here's a perennial that also just started blooming in my garden. This is new to me. Um, I'm in year two with this perennial. I planted it last summer and it's called Stokes Aster Peachy Keen. It's a beautiful bloom. And I love the way that it looks with my coneflower. And the perennial alliums are just starting to open up and the bees are loving it. Thank you for joining me on this tour to see what beauties are blooming in my garden. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next one.